Hi and welcome back to Divinely Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today we're here for another cozy tutorial. Uh, this time we are making a plate cozy. So as you can see, it goes right around your plate and you'll be able to use it in the microwave. So let's get started. making a plate cozy today so you can see there that it sits in quite nicely and you can pick it up out of the microwave and you're not going to burn your hands the darts are pretty easy and so let's get into it all right so we're here to make a plate cozy now we've got to do a few things to um before we can start we need to cut some fabric and we need to cut some batting now we want our batting and our fabric to be 100 quilting cotton and we want our uh, batting to be 100 cotton as well we also want our thread and our bobbin thread to be 100% cotton as well because these will go into the microwave and they're great because you don't burn yourself on the ceramic if your plates are like mine my microwave really heats up my plates and so um today I'm going to show you a really quick way of how to work out what size you need now the darts are pretty much the same across the board I haven't made a huge plate cozy but you know you're better off once you're starting to get out there that's not going to fit in your microwave so we're just making it for a standard but then there are some smaller ones so i've got one here this is my old plate that i use in the studio for glues and stuff like that so this one here is a standard size it's about it's about 12 inches i think across the bottom and across the top i'll just uh, grab my tape trusty tape measure it's yeah, about 11 and a half inches but because it's got this little raise on it on the bottom we want to be able to measure that and I'll show you another plate that I have this is um, an old plate as well that I just use in the studio and I can put anything on it but this is a smaller plate like these are the old style plates where they've got that little bit in the and you can see it's a lot smaller than um, than this other plate here so how we work out what we want to um, make our bowl, uh, sorry, our plate cozy, we just flip our plate over and we grab our tape measure and put it right on the edge and then through the center, I just measure across. And you can see here that with that um, rise, it's almost 12 inches. So I'm going to add an inch onto my square that I need. So my, my batting is actually uh, 13 inches okay and for the other one it would be a lot smaller and so I would just because it doesn't have a bigger rise so you can see here the rise isn't as big so I'll just pop that on there so I had to pull these out I haven't used them in a while and if I run the tape measure across you can see that's just 10 inches so if I add an inch onto that that will give me enough room for it to um, be made and because we don't want it to come up here so the food rolls off on it we just want it to be able to be picked up and the corners come out from it all right so now that you know how to measure for your um plate cozy you get rid of your plate <laughs> all right so we've cut for my plate that i'm doing it for today because we've all, i've also got some more of these exactly the same ones but in a different color in the house so i don't know that i don't need to go in and get one I'm just going to cut this at 13 inches and set that aside then what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, fabric and this is actually 14 inches so I've made a little bit bigger because we're working in a bigger area of quilting we run the risk of it cinching in a little bit so I've made it a little bit bigger and then we'll trim it down to whatever our batting is left over to the 13 inches all right so the other things that you're going to need are just your general um, quilting and sewing supplies if you've got a walking foot put your walking foot onto your sewing machine if you don't that doesn't matter because remember like in our last bowl cozy one I showed you how to elongate your stitches so you don't get any puckering all right so once you've got everything prepped and you're ready to go we're just going to take both of our um, fabrics and just like with the bowl cozies our plate cozies what we do to one we do to the other so I'm just going to lay my fabric on top and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the sewing machine after I've pinned this and I will just grab my pins and on each straight side in the center I'm just going to place a pin and then I'm going to get my long ruler so once you've got that pinned in place and as I said what we do to one we do to the other 
what we're going to do is we're going to mark our wadding with our pencil or our friction pen and we're just going to do from one corner to the next corner okay and then I'm going to do exactly the same here and as I said what we do to one we do to another and we're going to stitch on that line so I'll grab my second piece okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch on that remembering to elongate our stitches so we've done that we can remove our pins now and as I said what we do to one we do to the other so now what we can do we can see here that we've got no puckering so it hasn't cur curled up and having your fabric down on the base of your sewing machine really does help with that and the same with this one and you can see my stitches are quite long and that way I haven't got any um, bunching up or anything like that all right so our fabric is a little bit bigger than what we need so we're going to grab our ruler and we're going to trim off our little bit of excess fabric and we're going to make sure that we don't cut into the uh, batting and our next one okay so the next step that we've got to do is actually put our darts in so like with our bowl cozies we fold them in half and then we come over to this side here and we're going to take our little ruler the difference this time is we're not going to go up an inch we're only going to go up half an inch so we're going to place our half inch line on the fold of the fabric and then we'll grab our pen and we're just going to place a mark so you can see it and then we're going to have the edge of our ruler on the edge of the fabric and we're going to come down two inches okay and then we're going to join the line from here on the point on the edge of the fabric not the end of the line so from the edge of the fabric to the fold and we're going to mark a line and you're going to do exactly the same on the other side and for the other one okay so you can see here that that is just a tiny little dart that we're going to put in and that's going to keep it a little bit flatter but still give it that little bit of curve okay so then we're going to come down two inches again and we're going to mark it now remember we're drawing the line to the edge of the fabric at the fold and we're starting the line at the edge of the fabric all right so i'm going to pop a couple of wonder clips on this one and then we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to um, stitch these both down and then we'll come back and do the other side. Okay, so now that we've done that we're just going to grab our scissors and then we're just going to trim off a little triangle just to take a little bit of the bulk out of there so you can see there I've just taken a little bit out and we've just taken that tiny little snippet out and now we need to do it the other side okay so you can see there it's just starting to give that shape to it um, we've got our little dart in there and as I said if you back, back stitch at the beginning and at the end you're going to get a nice crease for your dart and it's not going to come apart all right so now all we do is like with the bowl cozy we just fold that over line up our raw edges and line up our seams get them to nest so 
we know we're in the right spot and lay everything flat Now you might find that your fabric's creasing in here just lay that nice and flat like run your finger along that um, fold and then get that sitting nice nicely in place and then take your ruler and pop it on there and then that way you will be able to Ooh. flying pens I'm going to pop a wonder clip there because it seems to be wanting to move. If you can feel any lumps in there, just put your hand in there and roll them out. Okay, so let's head over to the sewing machine and stitch these down. get rid of our little triangle okay so now that we've done that we've got our little darts in there you can see it's just sitting there and it's just starting to curl up and that's exactly how we want it to be so with your fabrics one fabric facing up and your other fabric facing down okay we are going to line up our darts and put some wonder clips there or you can use pins if you don't have wonder clips we're going to line up our raw edges as well. Get it to lay nice and flat as we're going around. Okay, so we have now clipped all that together and all our um, raw edges are lining up. Now we do have to leave an opening. So what I like to do is I will just draw about a two inch gap and that's where I'm going to turn it through. Now it is a little bit tight, but it just, it makes it a little bit easier if you do it on a straight edge. Okay, so once you've got that done, what I like to do is I like to round the corners. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna grab something that's got a bit of a circle on it. And this, I've got a couple of these laying around and they work out really well. You can use the tops off lids as well. So this will work as well. Um, but I generally just use these little um, glass containers I've got. And all I do is I come up to the corner, tip that one out, and I will just bring it up until the edge of the, the circle matches the raw edge of the um, fabric. And then I will just grab my marking tool and I will just draw a curve. Okay. And I'll repeat that all the way around and I get it to come down. And then what I do is I just grab my scissors and I follow that line and that just rounds it off for me. Okay, and I'm going to do that to all of my corners. Okay, so once you've taken off your corners, you can see there that they're nice and rounded. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the sewing machine and here at this point where we've made a mark where our opening is going to be we're going to put the needle in the down position and then we're going to do a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around until we get back to this mark here where we will also do a back stitch and that's going to make it nice and secure for when we're turning it through
Okay, so we now have our stitching all done. Get rid of any long threads that will be in the way at the opening or anywhere else. And now what we're going to do is take our picking shears and we're on our curves. We are going to pink them. They'll help to get a nice, neater finish all the way around. And I pretty much just go all the way around and trim out any excess um, fabric or wadding or batting and try not to get into my stitching. Now remember, I don't, um, where I've got an opening, I never do any pinking there. Okay, so now that we've done all the pinking all the way around, what we're going to do is we're going to reach in, and I always go to the furthest corner, and I put my index finger in there, and I, with my thumb, I'll just turn that out. Now, we did make a smaller hole, so, just remember it's going to be a little bit hard to get it through and as I'm pulling it out I sort of twist it and you can see there that it's just coming out nice and easy okay so once you've got that turned through you just want to run your finger along all of the um, seams okay and you can also use your um, like a chopstick or in my case I like to use a um, creaser from scrapbooking all right so we've got our opening there you can see that there and i'm just going to roll those seams so they just sit a little bit nicer before i put the um iron to it and then i'll give it a really good um working here where the uh darts are all right so we have our rounded corners we've still got our opening there Okay, and now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that in. So by just putting my fingers in and pulling on those um, openings, it'll just fold in for, for you. And then all I'll do is just make sure that it's lining up properly. I'll just pop some Wonder Clips on it. Okay. All right, so you can see there that that's our little plate cozy. And if we grab our plate, it'll sit in there quite nicely. Okay, once we've given it a really good press, and you can use the handle so you can pick it up and carry it like that. But we're going to top stitch it before we start using it. But before we do that, I want to give everything a really good press. Just come up into these corners and just get those seams to sit nice and flat. Into my darts as well. All right, so over in my opening what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one wonder clip off at a time and give that a really good press and then that way when I top stitch it'll get it'll close up really nicely it's a bit hot so just be careful and there we go we've got our wonder clips back on all right so let's head over to the sewing machine and close that up and uh, do our top stitching now don't forget to make sure that you elongate your um, stitches and um, that way they'll match the uh, top, the stitching that you've got there all right so I'm gonna head over and we'll be back in a second so that is it we've top stitched down and as you can see you cannot tell where I've stopped or um, started and as I say I always do I start away from my opening and I finish where um, with a back stitch I don't start with a back stitch but that is our little uh, plate cozy 
and uh, you can see there it's quite easy to pick up you've got plenty of room to pull it in and out of the microwave well thank you so much for joining me today i do appreciate you being here um as you've seen it is a very easy project to do, to uh, make and it's easy to carry your plates you've no more burnt fingers from the uh, hot ceramic out of the microwave if you like this video today don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below if you're a returning viewer or you're new here and you've yet to subscribe make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and then that way you're not going to miss out on any future posts but that's it for me today have a wonderful day everybody happy sewing and i'll see you all again next time bye for now